How to simulate your thinking and creativity. All-time comedian W.C. Fields was actually one of the best jugglers in the world, maybe the best in his day, and the confidence that talent gave him had to have helped propel him to stardom. You almost never saw him juggle in a movie, but he wrote, directed, produced, acted, did his own stunts, and promoted and made a career out of being himself. I think the qualifies as juggling, and it is a testament to trusting his inner strength. Though his feet of clay were legendary, along with his drinking and dislike of children, his imperfections couldn't shake his belief in himself. And millions, to this day, remember and love his work. He built something from what most would see as nothing, being a great juggler. Learning how to juggle may seem like a waste of time, but I have taught hundreds of people, from CEOs to alcoholics in rehab, how to juggle. Learning this little skill can help anyone lift himself out of his self-made pit and put a smile on his face. You see, along with the hand-eye coordination and the increased ability to focus, juggling is also fun, and we all would like to be able to do it. The good news here is that we all can do it, and it really doesn't take much time or talent. If this video is ruffling your feathers and you think it's a waste of time, I urge you to remember that a researcher who has personally experienced the positive effects of this process is the one who is writing it. And you probably haven't had a good belly laugh in way too long, which is not allowing you to be your most creative and inventive self. Look it up and you'll see the research backs my claim. Can I have your attention for a few seconds? Before we delve deep into today's personal development video, please help us spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ by supporting our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash You will instantly gain access to over 180 Christian videos and over 400 videos about billionaire biographies and over 140 personal development videos and over 450 verse and quotes images among other goodies. If you are watching this video, and you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior I'll help you do that right now, because it is for this very purpose that we create these videos. Giving your life to the Lord is the best decision you can ever make in your entire life on earth. I invite you to make Jesus your Lord today. In Romans 10 verse 9 the Bible says that, If thou confess with thy mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Please, pray this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe with all of my heart that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died on the cross, and that on the third day God raised him from the dead. I believe that Jesus is the Lord of my life from this day onward. I'm now born again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Well done for making this prayer. You are now born again. Attend a Bible-based church and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and support us on Patreon to keep learning the truth of God's word as you become an excellent Christian every day. Our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash link is also in the description. Let's continue with our today's personal development topic. Sometimes putting aside your attitude and allowing yourself to be in a receptive mode will make the difference between a good life experience and a bad one. Using your strength to put aside whatever is working you at the moment and developing a new skill is worth your valuable time because it's not what you learn that's important, it's the pride you get from learning it. The added benefit is that you now know you don't have to be the victim of those old negative emotions that came with past struggles. My business partner and I break out the juggling balls every now and then when we're brainstorming. After you get the basics down you can do tricks, and you may find that this seemingly mindless activity actually stimulates your thinking and creativity. I know it sounds a little silly, but I don't know one person who can juggle who give it back, because, on some level, learning how and getting better at it made them feel better about themselves. How to utilize the healing process of writing. One of the greatest moments in anybody's developing experience is when he no longer tries to hide from himself, but determines to get acquainted with himself as he really is. I love going to see Lyle Lovett, a very self-confident guy and one of my favorite musicians. I've been a fan since before Julia Roberts because I really respect his creativity. At one concert he told a few stories, as artists who have been around for a decade or two like to do, and with his droll sense of humor, well, all I can say is that I enjoyed the patter as much as the tunes. One thing he shared with the audience that stuck with me and that I heard others mention as we left the show was, for anyone who writes, writing is therapy. Don't let anyone tell you different. Not a hard sell for me, I totally get it, and so do a lot of other people. Writing is a great healer and confidence builder. You can let out your feelings, good, bad, or indifferent, and actually feel a weight being lifted off of you. Whether it's writing music, books, a journal, or a column, the process of putting your thoughts down on paper can be an amazing release as well as a way of seeing your own growth. If your words and thoughts are sad, writing can be a cathartic experience, such that you cry as you write, and we all need a good cry every now and then. Emotional outpourings can also contain laughter as well as tears, and still be deep and healing. There is a great scene in the film Something's Gotta Give in which the successful Diane Keaton is writing a play that is about a relationship with Jack Nicholson, and, as she puts the finishing touches on it, she weeps as she types, and also laughs at her own feelings and experience. 
As she shares her broken heart with the world she realizes that others would relate to the joy and pain of love and life. She also feels confident that her play is going to be a success. If you keep those emotions bottled up inside, eventually something is going to give, and you will emotionally pop, or perhaps become depressed, and your confidence will surely take a hit. Writing on a regular basis is a great way to get out insecure feelings and free up your heart and head to move forward. Yes, it can be good therapy, even if you didn't plan on it. There are many ways to engage in the process. These days anyone can share their feelings with the online world by writing a blog, there must be millions of them. You can set one up for free at blogger.com. What about writing that book or screenplay you've had in your head for the past several years? You don't have to pen another war and peace for this to work for you. A paragraph or two can do wonders. If you don't care to let a few billion folks into your private life, keeping a personal journal can be a good vehicle to help you get into your feelings and get rid of your pain. The point here is that writing is a valuable tool for your self-confidence. So put your fingers on the keyboard or your guitar and let your heart speak. Whatever the result, you will be better for it. Can you please do us a favor? If you have been blessed by this video, please leave a comment, like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel, and invite at least 200 plus souls, it could be family and friends, to visit Discofeth YouTube channel, so that they may hear the gospel of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and be born again. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and support us on Patreon, our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash Link is also in the description. Thank you and God bless you.